If you're new to print on demand, or if you've been using print on demand sites for a while and you're wondering how can you take your print on demand journey to the next level, we'll look no farther. In this video, I'm going to be covering five key features of Kittle. So if you're thinking of using Kittle, if you've recently purchased Kittle and you're wondering how can I take advantage of everything, then this is the video for you. Five awesome tools inside of Kittle that'll take your print on demand journey to the next level. Okay, so resource number one is actually hidden right up in here in the top and it's under resources and there's a blog and tutorials right now that are the exact same thing. So I'm gonna click on blog and you're gonna see it's basically a tutorials blog. And right here at the top, we've got a masterclass on how to use Kittle. I highly recommend you check this out. They not only are great with designs, but this masterclass can really take your design skills to the next level. I absolutely love these. I've watched these. I think these are really well done. There's a ton of different features in here and not just how to, but also some really cool design things as well. So check out the blog for all sorts of interesting tips and tricks. And of course, make sure to check out my channel as well, Zen Water Cooler, because I've got tips and tricks for Kittle as well. Resource number two are Kittle's world famous templates. You can see them as we scroll on down, but if you're on another page, there is a templates button right at the top, and when you click that link, it'll take you to this page. I'm gonna click on this Death Valley template, and I'm gonna click use this design. Now, one of the best features of Kittle is wherever you click, you can also edit. So for example, I'm gonna click on the background. I can see the background color opens up. I can change the background color just like that. There's also texture. I can click on the background again. And in this case, I could release the texture and I could actually just click the delete button and get rid of it. So now there's no texture. I can click on the bear. And if I wanna isolate the bear, I'll double click on the bear. And I can see now I can move just the bear. I can rotate him or her. I can make the bear larger by simply selecting the object color. I can change the color of the bear as well. There's also a border weight. I can make the border weight larger, smaller. I can make that a different color as well. So as you can see, within minutes or even seconds, I can have a radically different design and I can scale up t-shirt designs, coffee mug designs. I can move all sorts of cool things around and I can make this design my own. You don't just have to use the designs as is. The beauty of Kittle is that you can change things, make them better, make them more customized. I'm gonna move this here to the front. You can do all sorts of weird wild things inside of Kittle. And the best part is, is you can have fun rather than worrying about all the technical aptitude that you need in a program like Photoshop, for example. Resource number three is a tiny bit hidden. As you look through all the different templates, don't forget to go to the top, the very top menu. Over on the right-hand side, there's a Y2K option. What's that all about? Well, Y2K designs, I think of them as like skateboard designs. Basically, you can click on a design. I'm gonna click on this Y2K logos, and we can see there's a whole bunch of sort of, you know, skater logos. These are great for t-shirts and hoodies. I'm gonna click on it and use that design. Now you're gonna get all the designs pop up. So the question is, well, how do you isolate one? So what you would do is click on it and you'll see it instantly comes up because they're grouped. So if you just wanna use the one, let's say I wanna use this first design. I'm gonna click the other ones and I'm going to click the delete key. And that's gonna simply remove all the other designs. So I'm just gonna work off of the first one. There we go. Now I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna make it larger. And from here, I can now play with it like I would in any other template. I can align it. I can go top to bottom, just like that. I can also move elements around. So you click inside the design twice. So if I just wanna move the stars, for example, I'll go click, click. And now you'll see just the stars will move and I can make those larger. I can change the colors on them. They work just like a regular template. I'll change the object color over here, for example, just to show you. And the border weight, I'll change that as well. Don't forget about the Y2K logos. They're sitting at the top in Kittle over on the right hand side, Y2K. It's a really cool feature. As much as I love the templates, sometimes you wanna start from scratch. And that's why I love the elements library. Over on the top right, I'm gonna click new project. It's gonna ask me for a size. I'm just gonna pick a standard artboard here to start. And from here, I've got a whole nother library that I can look at. Over on the left hand side, there's an elements library. I'm gonna click on that and I can see there's basic shapes, there's masks, banners, badges, complex shapes. I'm gonna click show all on the complex shapes and we can see there's all sorts of cool things that you can populate your design with. You can make posters, social media posts, all sorts of print on demand stuff. And again, the beauty of Kittle is that you can change in an instant 
what it looks like from the default. I'll change my background color, for example, and now I'm starting to create a really cool geometry shapes poster, just like that. Within a couple seconds, I can have a really cool looking design that would look great in an art studio or somebody's classroom, a kid's room. The, the options really are endless. And again, the best part is I'm just thinking in terms of design. I'm not worrying about the technical aptitude of it because I'm just having fun. Resource number five is fun and it's challenging. Up at the top, I'm gonna to click on challenges. I'm gonna click on current challenges. Now at the time of this recording, we've got some recent submissions and some current challenges here, but this could change if you're watching this video months or even years from now from when it's published but you can view the challenge. So I'm going to click on this view challenge, retro sunset patch challenge. There's only 90 entries, which is not a lot. So what this means is you could create a design in Kittle, submit it, and you can win things like Kittle AI credits, for example, the artificial intelligence feature that's relatively new on Kittle. It's pretty awesome. All you have to do is publish it to the community. You can read about the challenge rules. And I think this is an awesome idea. So when you click enter challenge, you're now taking part in something that'll stimulate your brain. It'll help you be competitive and you can win some cool prizes too. Now I'll put a link in the video description below to Kittle. If you're thinking about purchasing it, I think it's an awesome tool. There's so many amazing templates. There's so many amazing resources. And don't forget that in all of these situations, these are fully editable. As I open up this template, for example, I can move things around, I can change the text, I can modify things as needed. It's an amazing feature. And I just think Kittle is one of those options that provides so much value for print on demand artists. It really helps you scale up your designs and do so quickly and dare I say, very fun as well. I really hope you found this helpful. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey using the powers of Kittle.